Uh, play intro. Uh, F1 game options. F2 reset game. Alt enter full screen. And continue and revert. Alright, F1. Scotland, November 1945. My name is Aaron Bruce, son of Malcolm Bruce. A rifle heir of Dustyle House. I can't read it. I have, I have recently discovered that my tyrant of a father intends, intends to disinherit Aaron, a to favor of my deranged younger sister. My relationship with my family is stranded, to say the least. I have, I have decided that the time has come for my sister's re to be removed from this ghastly. Uh, I intended to put her out of her misery. Unfortunately, my sister never leaves the con. Of, which makes the matter more complicated. I have not visited the family home in quite some time. I can't bear to be in that hellhole for so long. However, my present on the night of my father's 50th birthday will cause no suspicion. I must choose the timing and bet the D very carefully. Tonight is the night. I go. And it's done. The bell invites me. Oh! Bruh. Bloody hell, George. Who has been responsible for maintaining the garden? Used to be a big Jack Wilson. He's been dead almost a year now. I do a little here and there. Can't do much on account of my bad back. My sister has an offer to help me. This center isn't really the outdoor type, so I don't know which poses are. Very close. Let's go inside before the poser comes to. With your religious natives and search the house for a useful evidence and weapons. You will only be allowed to find an item of evil, if you wish, and commit murder. There are many ways to do the deed. Oh, this is our Bless you. Oh, God, why am I sneezing so much? Fuck. Where can I find you, my pretty? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, it's a point and click. Oh, I have to use the keyboard? Ha <laughs> 
God, why am I sneezing so much? Fucking hell. Ugh. I'm the same way. Bless you. Kisintai. Ah. Uh, fucking hell. I'm gonna go from here. Huh? Yeah, it's just. Uh, should I just mute for a few minutes? God damn, I keep sneezing. Oh, hey, uh, Mario, do you plan on getting that game uh, Back for Blood that's supposed to be coming out, if, I guess, technically today? Uh, I will. I will. Why is that? Uh, I figured I'd ask, because I'm thinking about maybe streaming it on Sunday. And it'd just be nice to have a group together for playing it by then. Maybe play a little bit a day or two beforehand just to kind of get a feel for it. With games like that, I, I usually feel like I, I like to learn a few of the mechanics before I jump too much into it. Hmm. Although, some games I'm fine with just going in completely blind. Yep. Yeah, it's not like Back for Blood is a story-driven game anyways. It's basically just a Left 4 Dead clone. I know. Well, I mean, I'm not wrong, because it is technically made by the Left 4 Dead developers. They're literally trying to re recreate Left 4 Dead, but without Valve's involvement. Yeah, yeah. Because apparently it's going to be on... Uh, actually, it's on Game Pass now, actually. So, if you wanted to download it through Game Pass, you can download it. Wait, it's on Game Pass now? Back what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You can pre-download... Sure. So, do this so if you're a if you're a Game Pass subscriber, you can just grab it through there. Yeah, sure. I'm grabbing later. Plus, it's, uh, plus it's crossplay, which is other reason why I'm saying thing. Because I'll just download it on the Xbox, because that's where I have my Game Pass kind of set up. But because it's crossplay, I don't have to worry about uh, it being on console. Because, as it currently stands, I kind of, for the most part, prefer playing most of my games on console. There are obvious exceptions to that rule. Because I know Warner Brothers does not support mods. Like, they have really garbage uh, mod support. So I doubt Back for Blood is going to have good mod support. Me? It's time for dinner, it seems. Dinner, is sure. dinner my boy! Some wine. Yeah, ma'am. <laughs> oh, 
what is it doing what? here? I'm gonna say right now, I really yeah. hate how these character models look. <laughs> they look terrible. They look like generic store assets. Yeah, but look at the character models in this game. Well, the ones that are actually like at the table and everything, they look fine. I'm talking about the ones in the, uh, for the portrait images. Yeah. Like, they have such a drastically different art style, it's kind of clashing with the actual game aesthetic. How much you want to bet this game was made in RPG Maker, and they just literally got a bunch of 3D models, downscaled them down in 2D sprites, and then, um, took said, uh, 3D images and then took screenshots of them for character portraits as renders, basically. Okay, where I put the items? Why do I keep hearing something like smacking every so often? Like I, just, I keep hearing like in the background just. Almost sounds like aggressive controller play. Who, me? I, I think... Oh, it's on uh, Souls, Mike, I think. Because I saw their mic peak when I heard it last. Mm-hmm. Soul, you there? Yeah. Soul? Okay. Okay. I'm playing right as for. Okay, fair enough. That's why the I hear aggressive button smacking. Oh, what the... Oh, I'm using a controller. What the? Yeah, as I thought, because I can hear like what sounds like triggers and analog sticks being pulled. Yeah. Because usually they make a bit of a clicking noise whenever you flick them hard enough in a particular direction with the sticks or triggers. If you push them down quick enough, they make a bit of a clicking sound. Hmm. Yeah, I've been clicking. Click, 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 click. Or a clacking sound? Yeah, whichever. Displaying workshop <laughs> items. I'm just doing some mayhem right now. <laughs> Let's see.
<clears throat> I'm gonna play melee fox. Are you? Oh, you're not playing the totally 100% accurate version of him. Yeah. I got a ton of characters. Even right now, the rival Zayfer characters are still good as heck. The sprites are amazing. All right, let's see which workshop fighters I'm facing against. It's basically just Smash Bros without actually having to be labeled Smash Bros. Yeah. Oh god, Ronald, Tetramin, and Falco. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Although, speaking of Smash clones, uh... What are your thoughts on the whole Nickelodeon All-Stars brawl? They look great, honestly. Yeah, and although there's rumors floating around that apparently some uh, some DLC characters got leaked based off some, you know, uh, data miners. Apparently we might be getting uh, XJ9 for that game. From My Life as a Teenage Robot. And if I remember correctly, another character was uh, Zuko from Avatar. Damn. And allegedly, both Chucky and Tommy Pickles, would, well, from uh, yep. Rugrats, were supposed to also be getting added to the game. Man. <laughs> Well, I mean, Reptar's already in the game. He's mm -hmm. sort of, like, already one of the Rugrats' yeah. reps. He's a show within the show. Yeah. Well, to be honest with you, I... I think it would have made more sense to, like, put Angelica as the playable character from Rugrats, to be honest with you. Because, I mean, she's kind of already a bully character, and, I mean, it would have made more sense. Versus the babies, like, no offense to the babies, they, they, they make yeah. no sense to me as fighters. Angelica makes sense. She's a bully, and bullies make great fighters. I mean, hell, they sort of did that with Hey Arnold. Helga's the uh, playable character for that show. What's it do? Nice. Burn down the house. Burn down the house. I don't know what to do with the rat poison. Nice. Why did I get this? I don't know. When, when in doubt, look up a guide. I'm just having a guessing game. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Poison the dog. Are you kidding? This one. What a dick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa. Might want to save your game.
Whoa. You know, just in case you die or whatever at this point. Oh yeah. Oh, I got an achievement. Good evening, everyone. My name is Chief Inspector Wilson Lewis. Win oh, Lewis. Winston Lewis. Lewis. Winston Lewis, sorry. Yeah. All right. I understand this is a yeah, difficult time I... for your family. You're damn right it is. I want to know what you're doing wasting time in here and while my daughter's killer is still out there. Well, Mr. Bruce, we have found no evidence of force entry and nobody has been entering or leaving the house. It would seem internally poss possible than the killers in this room. What? No. It seems highly unlikely, Inspector. Perhaps it is, however. In order to follow protocol, I will have to interview each of you in total turn. Mrs. Bruce, would you like to meet me Maybe in the library first? Good of you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining me here, Mr. Bruce. I'm sure this this won't take long. Before we begin, I will need to search your pers person. Best to get the... Is, is this necessary? I'm afraid so. Turn around, turn around please. Hmm. Now that's out of the way. Let's give. Let's move to the. Yeah. As you know, I have already spoken to everyone else who were, who was pres present in the house at the time of your sister's death. We have also now complete our search of house, and we get that. We'll get to that later. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? First of all, uh, come on. We will run through your activities since your arrival. You may say that you and Butler arrived shortly after 7 o'clock and she greeted you at the door. She said that you mentioned you're not on good terms with your family. I would probably say the last one. What I really meant to say is that my family is not good, not on good terms with me. I'm being the way since I chose chose to leave the family home. Oh, of course I understand. I know that I know that you did not stop to chat with either of your parents when you arrived, which strikes me a very indie. Hey, me, let's discuss your the butler. I understand you spoke to you made it Sophia. The butler seems to have some concern about her. <laughs> what the heck? He was only concerned with what's under her dress? What the fuck? Uh, which one? <laughs> hmm. 
Uh, Let's see. Uh, he told me that that new maid is a bully. He was only concerned about what's under her dress. And he was just afraid of his impending retirement. Hmm. Honestly, I'm kind of stuck between two and three. One feels like... Come on. Pick one, pick one. Okay, flip a coin. One is heads, two is tails. Five. Five? Heads. What five? I said heads for one, tails for two. Or, you know, you know what I mean? Like, heads for the first choice that I kind of mentioned and tails for the second choice I mentioned. Yeah. So, it landed heads. I flipped so, a coin. So, go for number two? Number Under her one. dress. I don't know what he told you, but really he was... Oh, he's quite off upset with her. Oh? Oh, yes. He often becomes obsessed with women. It would have trouble if it wasn't that so pathetic. I see. Did you speak to your sister before dinner? Did you actually speak with her? No. No, I did not. Then say no, you didn't. No. I didn't see Jennifer until dinner. <laughs> Very well, then. Let's move on to the events that took place during dinner. Apparently, you made a comment about your mother's drinking habit. Well, for her own good, for her own good, someone needs to comment. I felt it has to say something. I, th I, I thought she was drinking far too much. Do you think this is anything to do? Her condition in in copying with your sister's condition? Almost certainly. Interesting. Now I need to because you had a time with your sister's death. Where were you when you when you heard the main scream? I was in the I was in the guest room. Rivals are for. See, thank you. As I said earlier, the custom you workshop. Have Let's do this. Let's do this. Hello, the Spectre on. What about you? You were not brought in for further question. So, as I was regarded as the most. As you return to the verdict, the case remained unsolved. You had gone. gone away for murder, it seems. However, you have no. You were surprised to see his, his and horrified to learn that he had given his children. Oh, you finished the game, I guess. Um, I'm 
mean, you can always reload your save and kill her with your bare hands and see what happens. I want to see the achievements. Hmm? There's 17 achievements! Wait. Probably for multiple endings. Brute, use your bare hands as a murder weapon. Yeah, just load your save. You literally were right outside the, the thing to kill her. Use the broken glass as a murder weapon. Oh, I want to see this. The, the maid is found guilty. Found guilty. Oh my god, there's so many things you need to do. Well, you might as well do the. You might as well load your save. I might as well. And go for the bare hand and kill. Bare hand? Who needs a weapon anyway? You can be best her with your hands alone. You creep up behind her and suddenly. Well, in this case, you have to say that you did talk to her. Mm hmm Or maybe you can still say you didn't talk to her and just say you found her, I guess. All right, let's... Thank you for... All right. Kill rats, obviously. I know this is how there's something, something of burden problem. I thought I could assist with that. Would have been, would, wouldn't that be the servant's responsibility? Normally, I suppose. I just felt like helping. I see. That is out of the way. Let's move on from to the interview. Yeah, nothing so suspicious about a guy having rat poison <laughs> when someone was killed with bare hands it's like it'd be more practical to kill with the rat poison well, I mean you can technically just pick the same answers I guess what I really meant to say is that my family is not on good terms with me it's been a while it's been that way since I chose to leave the family home. Ah, uh, of course, I understand. I know that you did not stop to chat with either your parents when you arrived, which strikes me a very... Alright. Um... Where should I go? I guess the bully? The bully? He told me the new maintenance is very... And was looking for force him out his job. I believe cold and heartless were the words he used. I see. Interesting. Do you speak to your sister before dinner? Uh, you can probably still say no. Let's try. Uh. Probably stick. I'd probably say just stick with the same one.
Oh, yeah, yes. You know, traditional suicide, you know, mm -hmm. strangling yourself to death. Oh, no, you've been arrested. <laughs> oh, God. Bad ending. First oh, well. Agreed. Well, at least I got two achievements. You know, I think I'm starting to doze off. Uh... Well, if you're getting tired, to quote the famous words of uh, my ancient ancestors, go the fuck to sleep. Fuck you. No thanks, but I appreciate the offer. Really? <laughs> You said it was an offer. You have no choice. Oh god, it was a demand. Do or do Bruh. not. There is no trying. Bruh. Uh, I think I might be. I have to. I, I might be done with this one. I'll do the rest later. Well, I mean, you got two of them right off the... Two of the endings right off the bat. You mean four? You mean four achievements? But I don't want to sound so desperate about this, Omega. But the most easiest... The most easiest game to get... To get almost yeah, all the achievements... Was the last of Waifu. Oh no. And we're, I already, we're, we're, and oh no, I, Mario got uh, achievements in a waifu game. All the achievements. Because I broke the game. Uh, no, yeah, seriously. he bought no, a waifu game. No, seriously. Yeah, I know, I know, I, I know. Because I got it, so no one else got so no one else gets it. And it's easy to get! You need to click on stuff. And find a perfect exposed spot so the zombie don't kill you. Because every Wait. five, every five hits from the zombies, you just defeat completely. Next, we need to get Mario a hentai game. Oh, I actually know a couple good ones. Honey Pop. <laughs> well, I mean that is one, yes. Although the sequel is actually even better. Oh no. Um, I I know what marker. What? No, no, Although no. To be fair, though, the, the version that's on Steam is actually censored slightly. No, no, no. What we need to give uh, get him is Dream Daddy. That's no, not really. A, that's not. No. That's not. A, that's not a hentai game at all. There's actually no I know, hentai in it. I know. I know. I'm just saying. saying I'm just saying. saying uh, games just get a reaction out of him. <laughs> <laughs> or shower Piss with off, my dad. Mate. <laughs> oh, no. Piss off, mate. Yes, 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 yes. Shower with your dad. Yes. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> At least I know which. Is <laughs> At least I, I know what the game I can complete the achievements here. It's this one. By God, it'll be easy. Oh no! Here's a here's a good one you want to play. Tower and Sword of Succubus, a Castlevania clone where... No, no, no. No, no. What we need to do is find him a gay and uh, anti game. Oh, and there's a DLC for that game, too, called Succubus Hunter. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, it's a surprisingly solid game. The fact that it's also sort of a hentai is just more of like an added bonus. Yeah, that's uh. Hey, it's a solid game. It is a solid Castlevania clone slash Legend of Zelda clone. Gold bar. Uh, 
because the side scrolling segments play like Castlevania, the top down perspective segments play like Zelda. Uh, Anyways, I'm gonna hop off for a bit. I'm gonna get something to eat. I'm starving. Same here. Okay. Later. All right. Okay. Food. Yeah, we're gonna let an Omega. I'm just gonna lay in bed and watch it. Watch it while I'm in call. Okay, oh, no. cutie. So is it just you and me, Soul? No, it's Mario Blade here too. 